MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel. And this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. Unbelievable. I couldn't even believe that there was two eights in there. This guy right here is doing something special. Uh, I welcome y'all to MBE. What you about to see? Box building in a different league. In this SQL scene, believe that money ain't a thing when it comes to his kings. Now that's fact, not fiction. Call 404 694 48 to 18. Okay. Don't matter, you got 48 or 18 or anything between. He got what you need. This is my crew. This is my gang gang. These are my kings. Good, there we go. So it's time to change from the prototype. And look, can they see this right here, baby? Yeah. They can see that? Yeah. Ain't that amazing y'all look? Oh, look. wow. You see that? Yeah, so what's happening is, <laughs> some people like to call it a straight magnetic field. Call it what you want. And the magnetic field is so strong on the B2 audio subs that they draw stuff to them. And it's the prototype. Do it on this side so they can actually see it. See what? You allowed the screwdriver, uh, flathead to attach to it. Oh, no, nah, they really want, they, they, they everybody know you put a screwdriver to it. I just want to see this. There's no, you see there's nothing right here? That is the magnet, exact, that's the magnetic gap. That's how much energy is, is not in the gap, but there's so much energy on these subs that it's leaking out. And maybe it's the problem with photography. I don't know how Jay does it, but his woofers are categorized by that, and they're also categorized by the ability to stand this paper clip up. Some manufacturers say, you know, they had all the excuses of why they can't do it. But who cares? B2 Audio can, and is the captain the leader of the pcg paperclip gang <laughs> and they're gonna handle it it can, it can take care of business with, with any of them f boys out there ain't a whole lot of that so now we're gonna put in the version three we've seen a 135.74 now this is the is a derivative of this prototype right here the version two and the version three both came from this now in the future i can tell y'all this B2 Audio is going to the, he says, oversized cutout. I say with the new traditional. Uh, well, I guess the new traditional is going to be the seven and a half. He's going to bypass, he's debating if he's going to go to the seven and a half and eight, but he's going to get out of the standard. Standard cutout seven, eight, 7.25, 7.3. That's what this horn is made for, those type eights. That have, and this is what I want to talk about here, that have a QTS of, 0.39 and under is best for horn, all right? Up to 0.5. Now, 0.39 is best. The lower the number, the better, okay? But you gotta look at that by parameter plus X max plus FS because the lower the FS of the driver, the easier it is gonna be for it to reproduce those frequencies throughout the horn mouth without picking up all the higher frequencies that horn enclosures are known for. When you're using the horn enclosure, you want to use your low pass, you must, you must know how to use your low pass filter because you're going to cut out a lot of the high notes. Alright, so my low pass with this one is set at 80 hertz. I can go from 80 to 63 depending on what song it is I'm listening to. I can go from 80 to 63. And with 63 I use a 6 dB slope. When I'm at 80 hertz, I use a 12 dB slope. Alright, to Shot some, stop all them unwanted noises to come, unwanted high frequencies. When I say anything like 120, 150, stuff like that. Because how the horn works, he broadcasts sound. Now, you were saying, what were you saying to me, baby? That your, uh, it seems to me when I open the, the back window to the forward with the yeah. 1506s, it got louder with all the rest of the windows up. Yep. And that's because that's the reverb. You actually had a box playing in a box. So when you open up that back window of a truck, that becomes another port. Now you got a series tune six order and this is a very large chamber. Even in a quarter tune, that's a very, very large chamber. So with that being said, if you let the, let's say you close that back window and had both back, that back window in the window, had both windows up, you let both windows down. How you position those windows, or even if you just open one, Going, it's going to change the sound a little bit in the port and enclosure because they need that reverb. You're not going to get that in the horn. 
You're not going to get that in the horn. How long is this, baby? Four minutes. You're not going to get that in the horn. In the horn enclosure, you can let everything down. Your response is not going to change. Your base, your lows is not going to change. Why? Because the reverb is happening inside the chamber. In my back little horn. The, the pressurization, the reverb that you need, that's happening here before we do the long length to get there. So you can let all the windows down and get the same response. That's the benefit of the horn. It's good to have this encapsulated environment so you can hear the reverb of it, but it don't need it. So letting all the windows down with the, with the horn box, even with a single sub, is very, 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 very impressive. Very, very impressive. Uh, other thing I wanted to say. Now, there's some eights that can mimic that. Those that got a good bass on. Like you saying, you also know when you with the 4 15 or 6s when you let the windows down, the bass don't change too much. That's because they impact a lot of air themselves. That's just the vascular, the, the DD sound, as I said. But the BT Audio sub, most of them, particularly like the old XM8, and I'm going to show you all performance that one too. DT Audio sub love them horns. They keep them low QTS numbers, man. They love them horns. It's going to be somewhere between 0.3 to 0.5. 0.4 something like that for a B2 audio sub, which signifies a very strong motor, which helps it inside a horn enclosure. Not every subwoofer is good in the horn. Every subwoofer can go in a horn, but not every subwoofer is going to excel. I'm showing you the ones that's going to just show enough excels. And B2 audio is one of them. Mr. Paperclip Gang. So let's put this version 3 in here and use our straight magnetic field, as them hater boy, F boys be saying, and show y'all the performance of some serious low bass extension. 135 at 31 hertz is what the prototype turn in. What y'all think the V3 gonna do? Let me know down in the comments. Y'all be blessed.